Ever wonder how the Earth was formed? Two new studies published in the journal Nature have shed some light on how Earth's strange chemical makeup came to be. Our solar system began some 4.6 billion years ago as a swirling disk of gas and dust. This all came together to form rocks, planetesimals and eventually full-sized planets. But scientists have long been puzzled by the difference in composition between Earth and the meteorites believed to have formed it. The answer, it seems, lies in Earth's explosive history. Early Earth often collided with other planetary bodies, with the impact generating enough heat to turn rocks into either magma or hot vapor. One study estimates the planet lost 40% of its mass from this process. A second study combined Earth rock with volatile elements such as gold, silver, and zinc oxide and heated it to 1,300 degrees Celsius. After cooling the rock, they discovered that the volatile elements had evaporated. The same vapor loss was found in samples from Mars and the asteroid Vesta, suggesting that the phenomenon occurs in similar-sized bodies. The two studies may have solved some riddles about the Earth's composition, but many, many mysteries remain. Speaking of things hitting each other... Planet X is coming! The end is nigh! Run for the freaking hills! You know how everyone's going bananas for the Great American Eclipse? Well, they shouldn't be, because some guy on the internet says we'll all be dead after it. Aww. Planet X, aka Nibiru, is gonna smash Earth in September 2017. That's the theory put forward by conspiracy theorist David Mead. Mead predicts that when you're done chilling with the eclipse, don't forget your special eyewear now, Earth will be slammed by Planet X. But why can't we see the supersized star? Mr. Mead says that's because it's approaching the Earth from an awkward angle. Aw, who's a shy, awkward little bringer of destruction? You are Planet X, yes, yes, you are. Mead says the only way you can see it now is if you're flying at high altitude over South America, oh, and with an excellent camera. Mr. Mead cites science and the Bible to back up his Planet X claims, but we're citing the Satanist lizard people at NASA when we call those claims a bunch of baloney. The U.S. space agency said, Nibiru and other stories about wayward planets are an internet hoax. There is no factual basis for these claims. Mm-hmm, baloney indeed. It's gonna be hell on Earth. Astronomers predict that all life on Earth will be wiped out in the future as the sun balloons in size and scorches the planet. Using the world's most powerful radio telescope, scientists forecast that within 5 billion years, the sun will grow into a red giant star 100 times its current size. The sun will swallow up and destroy its two closest planets, Mercury and Venus. All life on Earth is likely to be destroyed, but there is a possibility the rocky core of the planet could survive. In 7 billion years, the Sun will then experience intense loss of mass due to strong stellar winds that will see it evolve into a tiny white dwarf star. If the Earth's rocky core survives, it may continue to orbit the white dwarf star. The white dwarf star will be similar to Earth in size, but much heavier. One teaspoon of its matter will weigh about 5 tons. The astronomers' conclusions are based on examining an evolved star 208 light years away from Earth, which 5 billion years ago was very similar to our Sun. The scientists say an object orbiting that evolved star is likely to be a planet, and further study could offer unique insights into Earth's eventual fate. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. 
Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. NASA gets slingshot power-up in most epic game of asteroids ever. If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's to avoid asteroids at all cost. Unless you're Bruce Willis or this beastly spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will fly by Earth on Friday as part of its mission to investigate the Bennu asteroid. The spacecraft will slingshot around Earth and then use the planet's orbit to get an 8,500-mile-per-hour speed boost to help it on its way to Bennu. The Bennu asteroid was discovered in 1999. Its 500 meter size is taller than Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings in the world. NASA believes investigation of it may lead to a deeper understanding of some of the universe's most fundamental questions. Or it might lead Thanos, Frieza, and Doomsday right to us. Yikes.